Okay, so let's try to solve this problem here. So we are still in our discussion on differential equations involving the topic eliminations, uh, elimination of arbitrary constant. So we have here the example in which we are going to eliminate C1 and C2. In order to, and by doing that, we could have the equivalent differential equation of this uh, given uh, equation. So you have y is equal to C1 e to the 2x cosine 3x plus C2 e to the 2x sine 3x. So we have two constants, C1 and C2. So first, let's have our solution. So we'll uh, copy first the given. So this will be y is equal to C1 e to the 2x cosine 3x plus C2 e to the 2x sine 3x. And this will be our equation 1. Then we'll get the first derivative. So we will go as far as the second order derivative because we have two constants. Okay, so the first derivative will be y prime. So we have here the derivative of two functions. So let's just factor out our c1 because it is the constant c1. So the derivative of first the first function is 2e to the 2x times the second function plus the first function so we have e to the 2x times the derivative of the third function so that will be 3 sine dx and this is sine that is cosine so this will be negative okay so plus c2 so the same process as the first uh, term or the first constant so we have e 2x so this will be 2 here, then we have sine 3x, then plus the derivative of sine is cosine, so that will be 3e e to the 2x. So the derivative of sine 3x is 3 cosine 3x, so we have here cosine 3x. Then we will um, distribute our constants to each term, so we have c1, this is 2c1 e to the 2x cosine 3x uh, minus 3c1 e to the 2x sine 3x plus 2c2 e to the 2x sine 3x plus 3 3 c2 e to the 2x cosine 3x okay so we will group the the coefficients or the terms having the same coefficient so y prime so first we will go to the 2 so we have 2 times c1 e to the 2x cosine 3x then we have another 2 here plus c2 e to the 2x sine 3x okay then we have 3 so for 3 maybe we will just get a positive so 3 we have c1 as uh, e2 e to the 2x cosine 3x minus c1 e to the 2x sine 3x okay then, then we know from 1 from equation 1 y is equal to this one so this c1 uh, e to the 2x cosine 3x plus c2 e to the 2x sine 3x and this one is similar to this one so we could say that this whole term here or these two terms here is equal to y so we could rewrite our equation now as y prime is equal to 2y plus 3c2 e to the 2x cosine 3x minus c1 e to the 2x sine 3x and this will be our equation 2 Okay, so let's have some space here below. Okay, so we will now get the second derivative. 
from this one so our y double prime will be equal to 2y prime plus 3 the derivative of this one so this will be equal to c2 times e to the 2x so we have here our 2 cosine cosine 3x okay so let's just write your write clearly our answer okay then this will be minus 3 e to the 2x sine 3x then we have for this one so we have minus c1 2 a to the 2x sine 3x then we have this will, this will be plus because we factor out our c1 here and our minus sine so this will be 3 e to the 2x cosine 3x okay now we will distribute each of them so we have we just also transfer our y prime to y prime to the other side so we have we have y double prime minus 2y prime okay so we just put our solution let's align our equal sign so y double prime minus 2y prime is equal to so this will be 3 times c2 times 2 so we have 6 c2 e to the 2x cosine 3x we have 3 times 3 times c2 so we have negative minus so negative 9 c2 e to the 2x sine 3x then we have the other one so this one also so we have here 3 so this will be 3 times negative c1 times 2 so this will be negative 6 c1 e to the 2x sine 3x we have 3 negative c1 and 3 so we have 9 so we will have negative also okay so for that this will be negative okay negative 9 negative 9 c1 that will be e to the 2x cosine 3x then we will uh, group the terms which has the same coefficient the same constant coefficient so we'll group all that is 6 and 9 so let's factor out first the coefficient of 9 as it or let us go first the coefficient of negative 9 so let's have negative 9 here times so we have let's write this one first c1 a to the 2x cosine 3x so because we have factor out the negative so this one also will be positive plus c2 a to the 2x sine 3x then all with 6 so positive 6 we have uh, let's have a parenthesis okay, so let's erase this one plus c1 c1 this is for 6 so we have c1 okay, so just put the first the c2 because c2 is positive so we have this one this, this one first okay so we have c2 e to the 2x cosine 3x nice um minus c1 e to the 2x sine 3x 
Okay, so from 1, this one also will never from 1, equation 1, this one. So this is also equivalent to y. So we could now transform our equation into y double prime minus 2y prime is equal to negative 9. So let's just highlight this one. So this is equal to this, which is equal to y. So this is y. So we could write this one as negative 9y plus plus 6 c2 e to the 2x cosine 3x minus c1 e to the 2x sin 3x okay if we go back to equation 2 this one equation 2 so we could say that y prime minus 2y so let's just have this one in other color so that it may not be confusing so let's have this one in maybe red okay so we have y uh, prime this is right 2 here 2y so we will write this equation number 2 so that we could um, easily have the manipulation of equation 2 here okay sine 3x okay so if you are going to to have the this side of the equation equal to this alone so first we will transfer our y prime minus 2y is equal to 3 c2 e to the 2x cosine 3x minus c1 e to the 2x sine 3x and after that we will divide both sides by one third so we could now have y prime minus 2y over 3 is equal to c2 e to the 2x cosine 3x minus c1 e to the 2x sine 3x and if you can see this part here this one is equal to this one so if we could have this one as our equation 3 so our equation 3 that would be our equation 4 so from equation 4 so we could have our new equation 3 so we substitute we substitute 4 Let's just rename this one. Okay. Substituting 4 to 3. So substitute, substituting equation 3 to 4. So we could have y double prime minus 2 y prime is equal to negative 9y plus 6 so our 4 so this this one here this one is equal to this one so this will be equal also to this one so we we have now eliminated c1 and c2 because the because this uh, part of the equation or these terms is equal to this term and they are all uh, variables so they are all in terms of y okay so we will write that one so we will have y prime minus 2y over 3 so we are we are we have now a equation that is only uh, that only contains derivative and the variables with no arbitrary constant so this uh, this technically is the answer but we need to simplify this one 
because we could not leave our answer looking like this. So we have y double prime minus 2 y, y, y prime. So this is now a basic algebra. 9y. So this is 6 divided by 3. This will be 2 y, y prime minus 4 plus k minus 4y. Okay? Then we have y double prime minus 2y prime. So, com so we will have I believe this is not 2. I was excited to transfer the 2 inside. So this, is this. this will just be equal to 2. Okay, negative 9y plus 2y prime minus 4y. Then combining like terms. So we have y double prime minus 2y prime. Negative 9y minus 4. So that will be negative 13. We have negative 13y plus 2y prime. So moving these terms to the other side of the equation to the left side. So we will have y double prime minus 2y prime plus 13y. We have the other one minus 2y prime is equal to 0 combining the terms which has y prime so we have y double prime minus 4 y prime plus 13 y is equal to 0 and I believe that is our answer okay so I hope you learned something from this video so if you are if you can see the solution is a little bit longer because the given equation itself as uh, the constants has two terms with uh, alongside with it so that's why we have a longer solution so there are other solutions in solving this one so i just have the substitution method in getting the correct answer so you can use also the elimination you can use matrix but i believe the most simpler solution would be the substitution method in which you are going to simplify each of your equation in order you in order for you to substitute that one to the next equation okay so i hope you learned something from the video so don't forget to subscribe to and also to leave a like on this video and to share this video to those uh, among your friends or to those other uh, students who want to learn differential equation and also thank you for always watching and as always enjoy learning.